Hi friends, thank you for, for joining in today and sharing this time with me. I wanted to take some time and just talk to you all about our, our monthly theme and our weekly theme. For this month with our Frog Street programming, we've been talking about amazing critters. And this week, we get to focus on my favorite theme ever, which is flying critters. And that is something as well that Fernando is very excited about. He asked if he could come and join in today. And of course I welcomed him too. He really misses all of us and, and our greeting circles together. So let's join in a little bit, okay? Let's talk, let's talk about flying critters for a moment. What are some of your favorite flying critters? Some of mine are butterflies, ladybugs, bumblebees. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that, Fernando? Oh, yes, yes, I will. Fernando wanted me to make sure I shared with you the wonderful word of the week. And I've got it right here. Fernando's going to help me hold it. It is called metamorphosis. Do you know what metamorphosis means? It means a change. So when a butterfly emerges from its chrysalis and changes from a caterpillar, it has undergone a metamorphosis. It has changed from a caterpillar into a butterfly. And that's what metamorphosis means. Our wonderful word of the week for this week. What a fun word, metamorphosis. And that leads us into our song choice for our greeting circle. Let's sing a song. It is called Roly Poly Caterpillar. Try and, and learn it with me and then sing along and share it with your family members later. Fernando's going to help me. Roly Poly Caterpillar. Okay, ready Fernando? He's ready. Roly poly caterpillar into a corner crept, spun himself a blanket and for a long time slept. Roly poly caterpillar wakening by and by, found himself some beautiful new wings changed into a butterfly. Yay! What a fun song. Do you think you could share that with your family members? I'm sure that they would really, really love it. One thing too that Fernando was really excited about to share with you, he came up with this idea on his own and he wanted to teach you a calming strategy. This, this strategy helps us to relax, helps us to calm our bodies and think a little bit more clearly without so much emotion. So what, what Fernando came up with this for this week is called butterfly breathing. And he really wants to show you what that looks like. So you take a deep breath in and you stretch out your wings and then you blow a deep breath out and bring your wings down as if you're flying. So let's try it together. Deep breath in. Butterfly breathing. That actually really helped me to feel calm. How about you, Fernando? Are you calm? Oh, I think so. I think he's very calm. So let's talk a little bit about connecting. You may recall that when we are at school doing our greeting circles, we often spend some time talking about children who are absent and wanting to wish them well. Now we know that now things look a lot different. Most of us are actually not going to school. So Fernando and I talked about this and what we want to do is just sing our wish you well song to all of you, to anybody who is listening because we sure miss all of you. And I know that some of your teachers and, and the directors at your centers have reached out to me and they really, really, really wanted me to make sure 
I told you they missed you and they wish you well. So let's sing it together. Are you ready, Fernando? Okay. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. We hope you are all doing really, really well, and we're going to see you soon. Now, a little, little connecting trick that Fernando and I also talked about is it's a, it's a tickle trick. It's something that you could do to your family members if you want, just to, just to give them a little gentle surprise and to say, hey, I see you. I see you, mom. I see you, dad, and I want to make you smile. So this is something that you could do. Bring out your hand and put your fingers together and make a buzzing sound. Bzzz, pretend you're a bee. Fly your bee around. Buzz, 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 buzz. Where is it going to land? Where should I make the bee land on Fernando? <gasps> on his cheek. Bzzz, oh my goodness, that made Fernando laugh. That is a fun connecting activity. If you would like to teach one of your brothers or one of your sisters or your moms or your dad's that, that would be fun. That's a really great idea. So I also wanted to share with you our morning message. And Fernando's just going to help me still. I'm just going to put him to the side here. And he's going to sit with Buzz. Buzz was also part of our planning too. And he's been a cute little mascot to encourage us and help us out. Right, Fernando? Right. Okay, so I've got my whiteboard here, much like we would have at school. And I'm going to get ready to print a sentence on it. But I wanted to share the morning message with you first. And it, is, it, it goes like this. Butterflies fly and bees buzz. Can you share that back with me? Butterflies fly and bees buzz. Hmm, there's some similar sounds in that. Let's break it down by doing some clapping and tapping exercises. Let's clap to the syllables first. Okay, so butterflies fly and bees buzz. Butterflies fly and bees buzz. So one clap for each syllable. Okay, now let's tap out the different words. Let's, let's get Fernando to help us and he can tap on his knee. One tap for butterflies, one tap for fly, one tap for and, one tap for bees, and one tap for buzz. Let's do it together. Butterflies, fly, and, Bees buzz. Hmm. There's again, there's some similar sounds. I hear them a few times during the morning message. So I am just going to print the morning message so that we can see what that looks like. So butterflies. Butterflies fly and bees buzz. And do you see what I did? I see a mistake. I made a mistake. Oopsies, I am going to fix my mistake right now because mistakes are okay to make and we can correct mistakes. That's no problem. Butterflies fly and bees buzz. I've got my capital B, my uppercase B to start the sentence and I've got a period at the end of my sentence. And I just want to pull out a few letter cards to help us have a look at this. So butterflies fly 
and bees buzz. So you can see some different letters here. We've got the uppercase B, we've got the lowercase B, we've got the lowercase F, and we've got the lowercase L. Can you match some of these letters to the letters in the sentence into our morning message? So butterflies fly and bees buzz. Let's underline those sounds that are the same. So butterfly, b, butterflies fly and bees buzz. Those are the same sounds. That is the letter B. We have an uppercase B and two lowercase Bs. Now let's look for the letter F. Butterflies fly and bees buzz. Okay, there's an F there. There's an F there. They make the sound F. Butterflies fly and bees buzz. Now for our last letter, that's the letter L, L. Butter flies, fl, la, la. Right there, there's the letter L, I bet you found that. And let's look here, there's another L. Butterflies fly and bees buzz. And remember about those mistakes, it's always okay to make mistakes as long as you try. This is my very first video, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not used to being in front of a camera. And Fernando and I talked about that, and we both agreed. Mistakes will happen, and that's okay. It's more important to be able to share some time with you. Now, we really wanted to end our greeting circle today by talking about commitments. And we know when we're at school, we have different commitments that we make. We talk about using our walking feet. We talk about using our big voice. We talk about using our listening, listening ears. And there's other, there's other commitments that we learn though in our Frog Street program. And one of those commitments is called thoughtful choices. So while some of those thoughtful choices might look one way when we're at school, they could look a different way when we're at home. We're all together at home. Your, your parents or your grandparents or your other family members, they may still need to do other jobs while they're home taking care of you. Their most important job, of course, is to keep you safe. But during that time, I wonder if there are some thoughtful choices that you could think about that you could do to help out your household. One thing that we talked about is when somebody is on the phone, maybe we could work on being very quiet, being extra quiet to help our family member finish that phone conversation that they may need to have. Another thing we talked about is making sure we're helping to take care of the house, cleaning up after our, after, um, our play activities, and then making sure that we're picking up our clothes or, or doing extra things that we can just to help each other out. Those would be some very thoughtful choices. And we hope that you can think of some. And to finalize our greeting circle, we just really wanted to encourage you to go outside into your backyard when you can or your front yard or look out a window and watch for some of those flying critters. Think about the bees, the ladybugs, the, the butterflies, even dragonflies, um, even regular household flies. Those all offer a lot of really, really neat things to look at. So have a look for me and let us know next time. Thank you so very much. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Fernando's going to blow you a great big kiss. Mwah. Bye for now.